Uber passengers of Reddit. That have given one out of five stars on a ride, what happened to make it so bad? She wouldn't shut up for two seconds, and just droned on and on about her life, and things I really didn't care about, only to get angry when I stopped paying attention. Her car was a mess. The back seats were covered in trash. I could barely breathe. It was a pigsty. I had to shove a trash can worth of empty bottles and cans just to sit. She had a little baby in the car who screamed the whole way, and wasn't even in a car seat. Nope. This kid was just in the front, buckled into the seat without any precautions. When I mentioned that I have dogs to feed, she called dogs flea-ridden retards, and then went on and on about why her cats were better. Proceeded to break check people multiple times, and then got pissed when I told her to stop, because I had an upset stomach. Went on a huge tirade of why LGBTQ people are the antichrist and will bring about the end of society. When I mentioned I have a boyfriend, she just said the same things, but louder. Picked apart everything I was wearing, calling my trashy and lazy for still being in pajamas. I legitimately had no clothes despite that. Demanded extra payment after the ride, despite me tipping her 10% negatively reviewed me and made my score drop to a 4.6. Yeah. 1 out of 5. I'm never riding with you ever again. I don't even know your name, and I'm glad I didn't. I despised your car, your attitude, and your complete lack of care for your own child. Despite me tipping her 10%, lol, America. I'm an American and tend to tip well above what would be considered the correct amount. This asshole wouldn't have got a dime from me. Why the f did you tip her? Please say you reported her. You're the problem. You tipped her for treating you like this. She'll do it again and again. Said. Get in. Bitch. As I was walking up to the car. Then when I got in the back he started mouthing off to the guy beside him at a red light. Told him he's f and gave him one star. He said. Get in. Bitch. And you got in? Wow. Why? Because it was my Uber and I needed a ride. There are usually more than one Uber cars in any given area. Not where I was. Asked me if I liked cocaine within the first few minutes, then proceeded to tell me about how much she loved it, including a story about when he'd once done crack and tried to throw himself out of a window because he felt so depressed afterward. Then tried to take my number. Were you picked up by Dr. Oxo? They drove 25 kilometers below the speed limit, flipped off the locals honking and overtaking them, took a longer route because, he knows the area really well, etc. I was silent and understanding the whole ride except when, I calmly explained why the locals are mad at the guy going 75 kilometers on a 100 kilometer road. After I got to my stop I looked at my passenger rating and lost my perfect 5 stars. Asshole. We were in Vegas and were heading to the zombie burlesque show so we called an Uber. The dude was a bit off, as he didn't really acknowledge us. I think he was messed up on something as he was super sweaty and his face kept twitching. He then covered everything from the neck down with a large towel, and I believe he was jerking off while speeding through the strip. The final part was him driving 50 miles per hour in the underground parking garage at the Planet Hollywood Casino and was weaving between pillars which he almost hit. We got out the second he had to stop due to cars being in front of him. Halfway to the airport, for a flight I was running a little late for, but would have made it, the driver pulled off at a random exit, announced that he didn't feel like going all the way to the airport and had somewhere else to be soon. Made me get out and call another Uber. Only low rating I've ever given. Still made my flight, but just barely. I use Uber slash Lyft often. Here are some of the drivers I've had and what they did. 1. Decided to smoke a cigarette with all the windows rolled up. 2. Another one driving me to my job, Starbucks, told me that they only hire illegals and I should really work for a company who works with veterans and supports the National Rifle Association, like, insert random unheard of coffee company. 
My name is also of biblical origin so he spent the entire 20 minutes of the ride telling me that I should quit my job and act biblically. 3. Using his girlfriend's account and car, he picked me up and when I asked him why his girlfriend didn't pick me up, he told me they shared her account. That set off red flags but it was almost 4 am and I didn't want to be late for work so I went along. Then as I was waiting for my co-worker to open up the store he came back around and asked me if I had a boyfriend, and if he could pick me up after work. Remember, he was driving his girlfriend's car, after I told him I wasn't interested he angrily revved his engine and peeled off. 4. Was picked up by this lady who gave me a business card with her number on it and said I should use her personal driving service. Wouldn't let me out until I confirmed that I put her number in my phone and would use her for any rides. Didn't rate her but then I got her a week later on the same ride share service and the first thing she asked was why I didn't personally call her for all of my rides. 5. Another one had music blaring and strobe lights synced to the music in his car, and was dancing and singing along while having no hands on the wheel. Was speeding and swerving in and out of traffic and looking back at me every other minute to make sure I was having fun. I was not and asked to be dropped off a few blocks away from my house so I could just walk the rest of the way home. Reported him to Uber and they said from the drop off time, it didn't seem that he was speeding but assured me they wouldn't match me with him again. A month later and I was matched with him again, upside down face. Older gentlemen started talking about welfare queens and how they'll have kids with like nine dads to get more welfare money. I told him my mom was on welfare when I was a kid. He just said that my mom was the exception and started going on and on again. Another one started making really rapey comments about a woman he had just dropped off. Another was texting and driving. Another was Facebooking and driving. Another one tried to get me into his multi-level marketing crap. I can go on and on. I don't do Uber anymore. I don't get nearly as many crazies on Lyft. Backed over a kid in a stroller then left the scene. I got picked up at the front of a hotel. The people in the car in front of the Uber were unloading their luggage and the Uber driver decided to back up. He didn't see the family with the stroller behind us and slowly backed over the stroller. It was one of those cheap travel folding strollers, so it just kind of crumpled up. Fortunately, the kid barrel rolled out of the stroller before it went under the wheel. The driver just rolled down his window and asked the mom if the kid was okay, to which she replied I think so then he drove off. I reported him to Uber and called the police to tell them I was a witness, but the mom must have never called because an officer never called me back. After a big night out my wallet had fallen out of my pocket in the Uber. Less than three hours later he had used my debit card to pay his power bill and buy a few items at the gas station. Needless to say one star rating was given and police contacted. Really? Did he not think he would catch on? Face palm. He got in an accident. How? Merging lanes on the highway. Didn't check his blind spot. I wonder if anyone has ever died in a Uber crash. My quick search only turned up the self-driving Uber car hitting a pedestrian. I was riding with two other friends, we were having a conversation about the role naval technology played in World War II. The conversation was literally about boats, when the Uber driver starts chiming in about how Hitler wasn't so bad, and he kick-started the German economy, made the country what it is today. The driver ranted on about the merits of Hitler for the remainder of the drive. That's a one star from me with a comment saying, Next time you are driving three Jews around don't talk about how great Hitler is. Oy vey. Lots of Uber drivers in India refuse to turn the AC on, because it increases fuel consumption. When it's 40 plus degrees Celsius, rolling the windows down and being blasted by hot ass air isn't exactly refreshing. Ask them twice or thrice and they get legit argumentative and rude. One star it is. Took an Uber pool and it was just me and this dude studying nursing in America from Africa, he was black. He spoke amazing English. 
the African guy was let off first, and the driver proceeded to rip into this poor guy about how he was abusing the US and should be deported. If I took away a star for every time he used the n-word, the driver would be at like negative 20 stars. I don't understand how someone could be so ignorant. My Uber driver found out he only lived around the corner from my house, then asked if he could come in and hang with me and my friends, immediate one star, and I have to walk past his house every day for work now. There were three of us. Dude pulls up in an old. Old. Piece of sh** that smelled strongly of exhaust. We open the doors to get in and his seat is all the way up to the steering wheel so he's pressed up against it. The inside of the car was filthy and reeked of cigarettes. We are trying to get in when he starts driving off. We yell. He stops. We actually get in. He takes off at the speed of molasses. Swerves all over the place. We all consider getting out but decide to just go with it because we don't want to wait for another car and be late to our destination. Get on the highway and his car won't go over 40 miles per hour. He flipped off everyone that passed him. 30 minute ride took 45 minutes and he never said a word. It was so surreal. I got in the back seat, when I got buckled in, he removed his sandals, placed them on the middle back seat, and drove shoeless. His sandals smelt so bad. The idiot pretended he doesn't know the way so he took the longest route to double the cost. Another saw me and hid away near, and then cancelled it so I got charged a cancellation fee. And then he came to me and wanted me to pay him cash to take me. Woman decided the four of us would be good subjects to practice her stand-up routine. She turned out to be an extremely unfunny racist, who also joked about dumping her midget boyfriend and holding him away from getting sex with her extended arm. A real hack. Ended the ride by driving off while we were actively grabbing a backpack from her trunk, almost slammed the door closed on me. Informed Uber customer support and they refunded us the ride and were eager to hear details and address it with the driver. I was impressed. Strike 1, got in, and the car reeked of cigarette smoke. Strike 2, it was raining, not terribly hard, and the guy had only one working windshield wiper. He could see out the driver's side of the windshield, but not out of the passenger side. Still, we were going slowly in a city, so not the end of the world. Strike 3, while we are driving, he starts watching a movie on his phone. At that point I demanded he pull over and let me out. I called Uber, and only got a partial refund, because I had already taken part of the trip. Whatever. I fought it, but in the end I was just glad to be safe. Took a short cut to the airport, which involved going through barbed wire gates with various huge do not enter signs. He insisted this was the right way and wouldn't stop even though I was screaming and having a panic attack, thought we were gonna get arrested. We ended up near a landing strip before he admitted he was wrong and turned around. I missed my flight. Sat down, asked him about his day and he went on a 10 to 15 minute rant on how, Jews are taking over the world, and how Meghan Markle is only marrying into the royal family so there's Jewish blood in the royal family line. Told me to go to a bunch of websites to read up about it, basically Zionism. Was honestly such a quiet Uber from me, I didn't know what to say. I was only in Leeds to see my mate at university, funnily enough I didn't visit the websites. Used to be a driver but can say I've gotten a 1 out of 5 before as retaliation for giving a 3 out of 5 to the rider for clipping nails in my back seat, and I'm unprofessional. This is why reviews should be double blind. Know what? Uno reverse card. I used to drive for Uber. I once starred a passenger because he wanted me to end the trip early, then drive him the rest of the way, to save him money, because come on bro. I once starred, a passenger because he booked a regular Uber, four seat belts, despite having a group of eight people, because an Uber XL costs like a dollar more. I once starred, an old drunk lady because she would not stay in her seat and off my head. Yes, Ethel, my head is shaved, and it is hella sexy, but we are on the freeway, sit the f down. I once starred, a dude who changed his destination six times in one trip, 
and made me change it on his phone for him. I once starred, a pair of freshman chicks who were mad that I wouldn't let them light a joint in my car. You're not that cute, Liz and Elizabeth. I once starred, every single drunk mother who got pizza grease, falafel bits, or fried chicken crumbs in my car. I have to clean that, you little shit. Reading this thread. Uber has become the regular taxi service now. People had the exact same experiences with taxis, at least in US, when Uber didn't exist. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. Also, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and ring the notification bell.